Hey guys, it's Nissan back again. I'm on day five right now. It's Thursday, March 26th. And today I just wanted to talk about a few stuff that I've been noticing, etc. About being sober for five days, I guess. Uh, one of the main things was my withdrawals as in uh, wanting to have a drink or smoke has totally gone away or slowly faded away. But one of the things that I've noticed the most was my sleep, actually. I have not been able to sleep at all. And I think that has to more do with the cannabis because I read how it affects the hippocampus which has to do with memory, sleep, etc. So even when I would sleep, I would get severe nightmares. Like not only severe nightmares but vivid nightmares. And it's just something that you have to learn to push through because it will sometimes push you into wanting to smoke or wanting to drink and you think you'll forget it all and just pass out. but. Eventually it'll go away is what I noticed uh, Another thing that I've noticed is that my days have felt a lot longer and I think that has to do with when you're just uh, smoking and drinking all the time like your day just flies by like you you just You just don't know what you're doing and then suddenly you pass out and then your day's done Even right now being 27 like I sit down and think and like being 17 just felt like it was yesterday honestly but it's been 10 years from now so like and that made me kind of wonder on why I wanted to fast forward life like we all know we're not going to live forever so why would you want to fast forward through that you know so that's one thing that I've noticed the most is how time has really slowed down and I actually kind of enjoy it because it gives me it makes me more present that's one thing for sure and another thing is that it makes me kind of enjoy life a lot more, enjoy my days a lot more. Because when the days just go by, you just look at the time and it's already nighttime and you don't even know what you did during the day and you kind of feel a bit crap at the end of the day, you know? Like, that's at least how I felt. So when time slows down, it's actually a good thing because you get to live your life day by day and a process as well. Another thing that I've noticed that has helped me is planning out your day like when I went to bed last night I planned out what I'm gonna do today hence when you wake up you don't have the tendency to go drink or to go smoke because you have your day planned out and if it's not around that then you continue continue doing your day and you just don't go around those things and suddenly you realize it's the end of the night and you're like wow I made it through uh, something else that I've, I've really realized is uh, I became a really present recently like after in these five days I have to say like as the days go on I've been becoming more and more present and something I've noticed is that the one thing you got to tell yourself is that not that you're not going to drink for 10 days 30 days two months because it adds a lot of pressure onto you and then it makes you want to go drink you just have to tell yourself that you're not going to drink today tomorrow tell yourself I'm not going to drink today the next day, tell yourself, I'm not going to drink today. And suddenly you realize that you have went through so many days without drinking by just telling yourself you're not going to drink today. Because at the end of the day, the only moment we really have is the now. And if we can control the now or be in peace with the now, everything else just comes into flow. So right now, I'm actually at Sugar Shack or Sugar Bush, some people like to call it. It's the only forest area really near my house that I like to come to and just enjoy my time. And... I know with all this coronavirus thing, people are saying to stay at home, etc. The thing is, I am keeping my self-isolation. When I see people on the street, I'm keeping my six feet or even more than six feet distance away. Plus, I'm in a forest now with no one around me at all. And I don't think that's a bad thing, to be honest. Like, you can't just stay at home as in trapped at home. Like, it's not really something that I'm used to. Like, I'm not going to malls or stores. And, I mean, all the stores are closed now. But I think it's important to go outside to get exercise, to get some fresh air. Because that helps you kind of relieve your mind. And someone else, someone asked me today on why I chose now to be sober. I mean, more than anything, now would be the time to really get messed up and get drunk or stoned because of all that's happening around Earth. But I realized that this is kind of a chance for us to get to know ourselves and who we truly are. And I wanted to take this time to figure out myself. And when you're really sober, we tend to really go inside and find out who you really are. You ask yourself 
asked some questions that you would have never asked when you were drinking and smoking because your mind kind of feels like it's clouded like there's like fog around you know and then like when you stop suddenly the, it's like the clouds go away and it's suddenly a clear sky and you can kind of you feel more clear you can see more clearly and like that's how I feel honestly and it takes some time but it's it's all right with me like I realize that to grow a big tree like it takes time so but eventually when the tree grows it's it's strong you know so I'm not trying to grow a little flower here I'm trying to grow a tree and if it's gonna take time I'm okay with that but during times like this it is hard I'll admit it because everyone is panicking everyone is worried but we just have to remember that worry and fear doesn't really bring anything at the end of the day whatever's gonna happen will happen and there's always a positive message to this as well as much as a lot of people are dying because of this and I do feel very sorry we have to realize that the earth is kind of healing and coming back into what it used to be I have seen birds in this time of the year that I usually don't see till April May and it just shows that like earth is kind of healing and healing itself I mean we have been damaging earth for so long and just not caring about it forests being cut down buildings being built and no one really cared but now suddenly people are all trapped inside and they're all wondering about this might sound weird but I did kind of predict this last year I told people that we keep messing with earth and like earth is gonna fight back and eventually everyone's gonna get messed up so I'm not really fully surprised that this happened I do feel bad obviously because I'm a human myself but as someone who loves nature like in a way I'm kind of happy too because earth gets to heal itself without us around and really it shouldn't be that way because we're animals as well and I hope that humans can learn something from this and realize that damaging earth is not the solution to this and to realize that like the mistakes that we have made in the past like myself when I realized all the mistakes I've made in the past with the alcohol and all that we must as a humanity realize that what we have done wrong I don't think it really has to do with the guy just eating the bat in China I think it has to do with more than that more of on how we've been treating earth kind of so that's my day five for today I have been thinking a lot but I started a journal which I, I would tell other people to start as well because when you write down your thoughts negative or positive it's kind of on a piece of paper and it's not really stuck in your head and it really does help because when you just have so much thoughts like your brain kind of starts to build this fog up again and when you just write it down on a piece of paper like it can be long short or even you can skip days it doesn't really matter but when you're just writing your thoughts down I've noticed that it has totally helped so for someone suffering from overthinking I would uh, tell you to try that actually all right guys hope you guys have a great one I'm just gonna go for a walk around Sugar Shack I hope no coyotes come because I have seen a lot of coyotes here and uh, I'm not really scared of them but when they come in packs it could be kind of dangerous I guess but I'm just gonna go for a walk go back home and start cleaning up my garden again hopefully start gardening again all right guys peace